Imagine a local NVR designed for Home Assistant with AI object detection. Imagine no more as there is one. It's called Frigate and I'm going to demonstrate you how to set up it and how to integrate it with Home Assistant. Coming up! Hello, Kirill Peanskis here. Frigate is using OpenCV and TensorFlow to perform real-time object detection for your IP cameras locally. You can have Frigate as Docker container or as Home Assistant add-on. You can use hardware acceleration like Google Coro or your CPU. And you can use the native custom component for the Home Assistant integration. Do not worry if anything I said seems complicated. I will guide you step by step through the whole process starting right now. Click on the Supervisor menu, Add-on Store. I will use the Frigate Home Assistant add-on for this video and I will show you the details in a minute. Three dots menu, Repositories and paste the Frigate repository and click Add. You will find the link in the video description and close the dialog. Now search for Frigate and click on it. Then just click Install. You will need the MQTT server and again you can get it as Home Assistant add-on. Here is how. Go to Supervisor, add-on store and search for Mosquito Broker. Click on it and hit install button. If you already have a MQTT server installed, of course you can use it. Go to Configuration tab and under Logins create a username and a password and remove the brackets. The username and the password can be anything you wish, in my case the username is smash, with the password the like. Save, go to info tab again and start the MQTT Mosquito Broker. Now we have to create one file called frigate.yaml in config folder of Home Assistant and to add some YAML inside. Go again to Supervisor or open it in another tab, click on Add-on Store and search for File Editor and click on install. Wait for the installation to finish and you can show the file editor in the sidebar and start the add-on. After file editor is started, open it by click on the file editor icon in the sidebar, click on this folder icon, click on the new file button and enter frigate.yaml. Click OK and the file is created. Hey, if you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's go. Now we have to open it and to paste the configuration inside. This is how my Frigate configuration looks like for a Raspberry Pi 4 without any hardware acceleration and with 64-bit OS. I prepared one, so I'll just copy and I'll explain what this configuration is actually doing. I'll paste it right here. This is the detector section, it is using CPU. You can find more info in the Frigate documentation in the detector section. If you're using Coro USB, you have to change this. If you're going to use Google Coro, you can check this video of DigiBlur DIY where he explained the coral configuration in details. This is my MQTT section, this is my IP, the port, the user and the password. I have to remove this character. And this is my camera section. You can find again more info in the Frigate documentation. You can add masks and everything is well described here. But we will start with some basic stuff and we will add complications later. I'm using some hardware acceleration with these parameters right here for Raspberry Pi 64-bit OS. The other options are described here in this section. This is for 32-bit OS. This is mine configuration. This is for Intel-based CPU and so on and so forth. 
and this is my RTSP link with the user pass, IP and some rows and the object that I want to detect and the resolution of the camera. That's it for now, I will save and I'll add more to this later. The goal here is to see your camera image in Frigate with minimal configuration as possible. Then you can try adding some complications like clips and snapshot sections. Disable the protection mode and click on start. You can go to the lock tab to check if everything is fine. As we can see, the camera processor is started and the MQTT is connected. Great! After you start the Frigate Home Assistant add-on, you can check if everything's fine by open the Frigate web interface. If you see strange images here, double check your camera resolution by open your RTSP link in VLC player. In VLC click on the window menu and then on media information and in this dialog you see the real resolution of your camera and the FPS rate. If everything is fine, Frigate will start collecting events. This is where you can find them. Just click on events and from this you can sort by camera, by zone and by label. As you can see I have already some persons detected here. The same can be seen from the media browser folders in Home Assistant. Before we add the official Home Assistant Frigate integration, it is a good idea to test if MQTT messages are received correctly. You can use the free MQTT Explorer tool for that. Here is how. Open the MQTT Explorer tool and connect to your MQTT broker. This is my test MQTT. And if you see Frigate topic with your camera name as subtopic and other subtopics as well, then everything is fine. We need to transfer some files to Home Assistant config folder and there are several ways to do that. I will show you one of them using the Samba Home Assistant add-on. Go to Supervisor menu again for the third time, add-on store and search for Samba add-on. Click on install and wait for the installation to finish. Go to configuration tab and you can only add a password here. Nothing else, everything can stay as it is. I will use Home Assistant as username and password. I will save the changes and I will start the add-on. Installation of the Samba add-on was very easy and now we just have to download the official Home Assistant Frigate integration and to copy the files. I will then open the finder. This is the file explorer in macOS. And I'll connect to this Samba share. This is the IP of my home assistant. The Samba share is just a window share. I'll click connect and as username and password I'll paste home assistant. I can remember this password but this is optional and I'll hit connect. I'll select config folder here because this is what I need. And now I'll have access to my Home Assistant config folder over Samba. I'll open the Frigate Integration GitHub repo. You can find the link in the video description. And I'll click on Code Download Zip. Then I'll open and extract the downloaded archive. And inside the folder I will copy this custom components folder with its content. Then I'll go back to my Samba share. Where it is, ah, here it is, and I'll paste the custom components and the frigate subfolder inside. I think I'm ready. If I go inside, I'll see the frigate and some Python files exactly as I wanted. Let's restart that home assistant to see the frigate integration. Go to configuration and scroll down until you see server controls. Click on it and restart Home Assistant. While you are waiting, you can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's continue. Go to Configuration, Integrations, Add Integration and search for Frigate. Click on it. The host is auto-populated. If you're using Frigate in Docker, you have to change this. Click Submit and then Finish. You can click on this one device that is found. Frigate, 
and you will see all of the entities that the integration is adding. As you can see, they are a lot and they are all very, very useful. We have motion sensors, switches, camera streams, and we can add them to Lovelace UI by clicking on this button. And here are they. Everything is here. I really, really like that. Now, what's better than finish everything with one useful Home Assistant Frigate automation? In frigate.yaml file, I added these clips and snapshot sections. I copy and paste them without any modifications from Frigate documentation and I restart the add-on. And now if I open the Frigate web UI, I can toggle the clips and snapshots on and off. By enabling the snapshots in Frigate, I can now make an automation that will send this snapshot. And again, I'll copy and paste the automation from Frigate documentation right in my Home Assistant. I'll open my automations.yaml file. I'll remove the brackets and I'll paste the automation. You will need Telegram Notify service for this automation. If you don't have it, check this video of mine and enable it. The trigger of the automation will be an event in Frigate topic in your MQTT server and the action will be Telegram message containing the snapshot and the text of what's detected on the image. I will save this automation, then I'll go to configuration, server controls and I will reload my automations. Now if there is recognized object in front of your camera, the snapshot will be sent immediately to your telegram. If you just like me receive this error in your logs, you have to add this parse mode HTML in configuration.yaml file in your telegram section. If you want to secure this channel existence, you can become one of my Patreons. Feel free to add me on Twitter by searching for this username. You can find me on my Discord server as well. Stay safe and don't forget, all smart but not hard.